Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell from Dragon Rider Network, and I am currently in Ocean City, Maryland, uh, one of my favorite places in the world on vacation. We had a free day today, so like I figured I might as well take the time, which is about five minutes to record a video, to uh, make a review for you guys, this awesome backdrop behind me. So anyway, let's get started. So today I'm doing a review of an app called Slices. This is a new Twitter client that was released only a few days ago, which allows you to search mass groups of tweets, such as events or typically uh, news or technology genres. Say for example that the Olympics are going on this week, which in fact they are. You can actually go inside, look at events that are currently going on, and the Olympics will be one of them. When you click on that, you will get a certain column which will dedicate all tweets regarding the Olympics and bring you every single one of them, which is really amazing and very useful for events like that, including technology events like WWDC and CES. You can, of course, have different kinds of groups for your tweets, such as news-related tweets, entertainment-related tweets, technology, sports, anything. And since you're getting all these tweets, of course, it will have support for trending topics on Twitter. That, of course, is a very big feature on Twitter, and of course, as many Twitter clients are trying to incorporate that as often as they can. One of my favorite parts that, about this app is that when you have options to share a tweet, and you have many, many options to do that, they actually give you an option to share it on Facebook. This isn't really a good thing or a bad thing in my opinion, I just found it kind of cool and weird at the same time. What I really find great about this app is that everything really just works. Everything is in a great layout. It has a really nice navigation for when you're looking through events or trending topics. You can organize your columns in a really nice way. And it really just has a really good looking interface and it really works for the Twitter client. So that is a two punch uh, success for this Twitter app. However, like all great things, there is only one downside to this app. The app constantly has ads that pop up. Not video ads, but just little banners in the bottom. The fact that it's a free app, of course you're going to get this, but me personally, I find it a little bit of an annoyance, but not enough of an annoyance to stop using this app. Overall though, I really love this app. In fact, despite the ads, I will actually start using this Twitter client as my primary Twitter client because I've been a long time TweetDeck user, but I am officially switching over to this app today. So anyway guys, you can go find it on the App Store. It is currently free on the App Store. You can go look for it yourselves and download it yourself and see what you think. So anyway guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech content like this. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and be sure to check out the website, DragonRiderNetwork.com. Anyway guys, I will catch you at the next video. Talk to you then.